welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Thursday, November 6th. Well, now the, the presidential race is over. The prognosticating and speculating begins in the race for governor of New Jersey in 2009. And on the Republican side, of course, the big name and the, the, the person that a lot of GOP members want to see run is U.S. Attorney Chris Christie. With uh, Obama in the White House, a Democrat, it is very unlikely, highly unlikely, probably impossible that Christie will be reappointed to his post. And as Josh Margolin and Claire Heininger, our reporters, put it this morning, it's put up or shut up time for Chris Christie to decide whether he wants to run for governor. And he does tell us in an interview this morning that he has begun thinking about what he will do next. Now that's incremental movement, little, little tiny baby steps forward in this story, but it does look like he's moving closer to making up his mind. Keep clicking on NJ.com as the day goes on, and of course, as we move into the future and as the governor's race heats up over the next year. All right, if Tuesday night was a night of celebration for supporters of President-elect Barack Obama, yesterday was kind of a day, a little bit more reflection, and a lot of new realities began to sink in, especially among African-Americans as they began to ponder just what it's going to mean to have an African-American president. In the streets of Newark yesterday, in the stores and offices, and in the halls of academia, it was the topic. Check out the video. A long ways we came from. Mm -hmm. And you see, everybody may not know what a long way we came, but I do. Because when you are 80 and you was born in the deep south, you went through a lot of things. Yes, sir. All over Newark yesterday, African Americans talked about the significance and the promise of Barack Obama's presidency. God gave us a bold contrast and then said, America, let me see you choose. To me, the nation has come to its senses. The people put their reasonable concerns for their economic and national security future over the racial fears of the past. He's smart enough to know that his election didn't get us there, but he knows that what his election did was create an era of possibility. Yesterday isn't even Obama. It was my friend that spent 11 hours yesterday going to Pennsylvania to knock on doors. It was my homegirl that decided she was going to leave work early and spend the next six or seven hours calling folks it was all these folks, some of them wearing saggy pants that other folks would, would deem being not caring about what happens to the world, that believed in yesterday that they can do anything. I think he will, um, not in any kind of official or formal way, challenge the creeping crudeness that has taken over popular black uh, culture. We children can look up to someone and say that that's who I want to be when I grow up. He is seeking to bring the classes together as well as the races together. And that will help us within our own ranks. He, he demonstrated personal courage and fortitude. And I think his challenge to us is to demonstrate that same kind of courage. All right, after three days of just about nothing but election coverage here on Ledger Live, we're going to lighten things up as we wind down here. You know those uh, construction buckets, the five-gallon buckets that the, um, you have probably see street performers often using them as drums? Some of these guys can be pretty amazing in what they do with those things. But a group of students at East Orange Campus High School have taken the whole thing of quite a bit further. They have formed an entire ensemble of these using them as instruments, and they're going to be performing next month at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark. Check it out. Kwame Abram plays in East Orange High School Jaguar Bucket Ensemble. The group was formed in September and has grown to 85 members. Music and keep people out. Of, it will keep me out of trouble, basically. 
All right, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Listen, we want to hear from you. If you've got photos, emails, just comments, things on your mind, news items, send them to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com. Of course, if you want to log on and make your points known on our news blog, they are there at nj.com as well. All right, Jersey, take it easy. One big whale swimming in the sea. One big whale. Are you recording me? <laughs>